Well, here we are at the log yard. I mean, I've been here before, and I don't remember it being this awesome already. But a huge bluff as soon as you get here. We're about to put her in the water, and we're going to head up a ways. No real destination. Over there is where I started the video, but that actually isn't where you would want to launch a boat. Uh, I came over here and looked at it. Much better little spot here. It's deep right here. Seeing those big boulders is just really, really cool. Coming from a muddy river guy. I knew there was a elk up here, but I never thought I'd see one. Oh, I wish he was closer. Where to get back on the gas? The current is a is a lot bigger river than the black that we was on yesterday. Uh, it's a lot easier to run too, but there's definitely some boulders in here that could trick you up uh, if you weren't paying attention. Nice little rabbit coming up through here. We're just putting along. I don't know. At 13, 14 probably. Ground speed. It's probably going to be slower than that as we head up through this. But with me standing up, you can tell there's going to be a stone right there. You can see them. Uh, also, this is just my strategy. I think a lot of people look for deep water. And in reality, you just need to be looking for enough water. Because the shallower water typically ends up being cleaner. Oh, it's always like that kick sideways feel. Your shallower water ends up being the cleaner water versus deep water. And I don't have an example of that right now. It's all kind of shallow. But if you kind of get in this sweep areas, that's where you're going to find uh, boulders or jagged rock or something like that. But you get over by the inside corner where it might be you know three four inches deep you have visibility of everything and also it's usually always gravel uh, so that's that's my strategy don't look for deep water look for enough water and take that and take that route One thing I wanted to point out about the current river is it's super cold. Like the, the boat condensates on the inside uh, pretty well, so. Well, I got here really fast. I thought it was gonna be further up, which I didn't put much thought into how far it'd be. But there's the current river and here is the Jack's Fork. I guess you'd call this the confluence. But I'm deciding to decide if I want to ride on up or head back. Um, I really enjoy the current river. Like it, it's prettier than the Black River. The Black River is just so much more fun to run. And also the water isn't nearly as cold for swimming purposes and things like that. I think there's more fish here, but it might just be as deeper. I don't know. I see more fish here on the current than I did on the Black. But it was literally raining on me half the day yesterday too, so. Uh, so this here is Blue Spring. There's water coming out of the ground. And it's really cold. I drive up there, but you're probably not supposed to. People's watching. When I say people, look at all those campers. Out of all of them, there's only one group of people who are there. Interesting little 
Uh, interesting little bit that I had found is uh, I was talking about how there's no service in Missouri, especially on these river bottoms. But it, it seems like if you get it by one of these big bluffs, you get signal. I don't know if it's just bouncing off of it or what, but kind of proven true so far. I ain't put a whole lot of into my theory. We're leaving Current River. I only spent a couple hours here. I mean, it's fantastic and beautiful, but I'm getting floaters and kayakers, and there's just a lot of water. So we're gonna find some less flow somewhere. Where y'all at? I saw you. I saw you. There you are. A couple small otters. One of them had a fish in his mouth. They're tiny. See that fish in his mouth? <laughs> it ain't real deep here, see if we can get on plane. Kick a few rocks up. 